What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com back with another SketchUp free tutorial for you. So in today's video, I want to talk about how to import images into SketchUp free. So that can be helpful for a lot of different things. You can use it to import like a floor plan in order to create a floor plan from an image. You can also use it to import images for like pictures on walls or other things like that. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so to import an image, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to the upper left-hand corner right here and you're gonna click on the little three line menu. I've heard some people call it the hamburger menu, but we're gonna go ahead and click on that. That's gonna pop down a menu over here on the left-hand side of the page. And what we're looking for specifically is the option for import. And so when we import something, what we wanna do is we wanna import something from from our device. So we're gonna click on the button right here for my device. Notice how you can import SketchUp files from your desktop as well as PNG files and JPEGs. Now if you upgrade to SketchUp Shop, you can also import these other kinds of files as well, DWG, DXF, um, all those other files um, as well. So those are not available as a part of the free version, but we're gonna focus on the free version. And so what we wanna do is we just want to click on this button right here. And so in this case, I have a floor plan that I'm gonna bring in. So I can just mouse over this and just double click and it's a JPEG file. So when we double click, it's gonna select that. And so what it's gonna ask us to do is it's gonna ask us if we wanna bring this in as an image or a material. Well, right now we want to focus on this being an image, so we're just going to click on image. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow us to click in order to place this, and then we can move our mouse in order to set the size of the object. And so notice how this got brought in as an image file. So it's like fully an image in here, and um, so it's acting as its own complete object, right? So you can't even double click inside of it. Um, it's literally just an object that you can move around inside of SketchUp. And so what we want to do first off is let's say we wanted to set this to scale um, just real quick. I focus more on this in my floor plan tutorial, but if we wanted to set this to scale, all we're going to do is use the tape measure tool right here. So we're just going to click on this and activate the tape measure. And then I'm going to tap the control key so that the little plus thing goes away because we want to make sure that we're not in create guide mode. But all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick a point like this one right here, move my mouse and then click again in order to set a second point. Notice that this gives me a measurement of seven foot, two inches. What I'm going to do is I'm going to type in a value of 12 foot and hit the enter key. And it's going to ask us if we want to resize the model. And the answer is going to be yes on that. What this has done is this has set this so that we're now in here to scale. You can see how now this length is very close to 12 feet. So we've brought this in to scale. So that's how you could bring in an image and scale it in order to um, create like a floor plan or something like that. In addition though, let's talk a little bit about some other functions that we could use this for. So for example, let's say that I had maybe like a building, right? So something like this offset this in a little bit. But let's say I wanted to put a picture on the wall. Well, what I could do is I can import a custom image in order to do that. So I could just come in here and click on import, go find a file. And so I've got this great picture of me and Bonnie that I want to bring in. Well, I'm just going to bring that in as an image file right here. And I can actually use this in order to put a picture on the wall. Now, one thing to note about this is you can't really edit it right now, which is kind of frustrating. Like if I wanted to push pull this, for example, notice how it's not gonna let me do that. Um, it's It would let me do that. It lets me push pull the wall, but it's not gonna let me push pull the image. Well, what I'm gonna do, and we'll just move this out of the way real quick, just so we don't have to worry about it merging, is what you could do is if you wanted this to become a face, you could just right click in here and click on the button for explode. And so when you explode that, what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow you to treat this like any other geometry. That means I could push pull this out like this to give it a little bit of thickness. And probably what I would do is I would go into my material editor and I would apply maybe just like a white material around the outside. And then I would just regroup it. So I'd select it right click and click on make a group. Well then I can just place that on the wall inside of my model. So you can use this to bring in images and then edit them like that. You can also bring in images as materials. So when we do that, what that's gonna do is we can do import from my device. And in this case, I'm just gonna pick a brick material that I've downloaded. So we're just gonna use this one right here. We'll import this as a material. 
So when you import this as a material, what this is going to do is this is going to let us click and size this right here. So notice how the size of the material is driven by where your mouse is. Well, then if I click, notice how it applies this brick material to this face. And so then all I have to do is I can just do an alt click to sample this, and then I can apply this to other faces just like this. You can use this to bring custom materials in as well. Now notice that this is starting to run a little bit slower. You do need to be a little careful with the size of materials that you bring in because if you bring in really high resolution materials, what that's going to do is it's really going to slow down your model. But if you do want to bring in custom materials into the free version of SketchUp, this is a great way to do that. All right, so I will link to some other SketchUp free tutorials on this page. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.